In this video, we're going to learn how to find a substring within a larger string using Python regular expressions. So we're going to start by importing RE, the regular expression package. We're going to just save this string as our target. So it's just some lines here. So to find a given substring, you can use re.search to look for it. So to do that, we can say re.search. For the first argument pattern, we're going to pass in a regular expression pattern that matches the substring we want. In this case, we're going to target any numbers. So that is a pattern that is the digits 0 through 9 and any number of them in a row. So basically, this is going to capture the first number that appears in the string. And then the second argument is the string itself. So our string was called lines. When we run this, it will find the first instance of a number and then return it as a match object. So when we run this, we can see we've found something and it's returned a match object. Now, once you get this match object, if you want the actual substring that you matched here, where it says match equals 9,000, you can just call dot group on it and that will give you that value. So here we're gonna say, this is our match object and we'll say dot group and that will give us that first match substring. Now, if you want to instead extract the indices that were matched, where the match started and where it ended, you can use dot start and dot end on the match object to do that. So here we'll print out the dot start is where the first index of that nine, first 9,000 appeared, and dot end will get the ending index. So if for some reason you need indices instead of the match itself, that is a way you can do that. Now you'll note that when we used re.search, that only matched the first appearance of the given pattern. If we wanted to match all occurrences of the pattern instead, we can use re.findIter to do that. So if you'll notice, in the original string, there were actually two instances of a number. There was 9,000 here, but then later on in the string, 9,000 occurred again. We only matched the first one though. So if we wanted to match both of these numbers with that same pattern, we could use find iter to do that. So we'll do that here, re.findIter. We're using the exact same pattern and the exact same string as the arguments. It's just this time we're gonna match all occurrences. So there will be two matches made this time. And what this will return is actually an iterator over all of those different matches. So that is what this all matches is. So for each one of those, we can loop through it and then do something with the corresponding match object. So in this case, we're just going to say for match. So for each of these matches that is found, in all of our matches, we're going to print the various aspects of it that we explained above. So we're going to print the group, which is the actual match, and just the start index and the end index. So I'll run this and there should be two things printed because there were two different instances of a number. So we can see that we found two things this time, the first 9,000 that we matched the first time, but also the second one as well. Now, in a lot of cases, you're not going to care about getting this match iterator where you can go through each group like this and find the indices. You often will just want to get the actual substrings themselves, perhaps as a list, and you can do that easily with the re.findAll function instead of find iter. So this is a convenient way of just getting all the matches themselves as a list. So when we run this, re.findAll, we'll use the same pattern, the same string, but this is just going to get all those matches and return it as a list. So when we print that, we should see 9,000 in that list twice. So indeed, that is what we get as a result. So that covers the basics of how to match substrings within larger strings in text data in Python. All the code used for this video is available in the description below. And if you found this video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.